two, one. This always works. If you're in this room, you're on the... Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. I'm so glad you could attend. Come inside, come inside. This is a concurrent meeting of the Londonderry School Administrative Unit Number 12 School Board and the Londonderry School District School Board. Um, it is Tuesday, March 6, 2012. Steve, would you lead the Pledge of Allegiance, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, Just a couple of things on the agenda this evening. Upcoming meetings. There is the election day, which is technically a meeting. Election day is Tuesday, March 13th, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. at the LHS gym. Um, and the week following that, March 20th, the new board will meet in the town offices at 7 p.m. to go through the reorganization process of um, sentencing a new chair and vice chair and various other uh, responsibilities. On the agenda this evening, we want to recognize the resignation of Tina Jonkis an instructional assistant at South School who I had the pleasure of working with on a couple of enrichment clusters over the years. I'm sorry to see you go, Tina. Thank you for all you did. And Margaret Bagley, a SPED assistant in the middle school. Margaret, I didn't know you, but thank you for your contributions over the year as well. Anything else that anybody would like to raise at this point? Yeah, John, um, you should add, as I gave you um, Lynn McDonald's resignation, um, as school uh, district clerk, right. uh, so the board should take action on that also. Lynn McDonald, school district clerk, has submitted her, excuse me, has submitted her resignation effective uh, today, March 6th. Um, Lynn, you've been an outstanding clerk. You've been a asset to the district. Um, we thank you for all the time you've done, all the work you've done, both as a clerk and um, as a contributor in many other ways to the district. I hope you will continue in that role. Um, I suppose we need a motion to accept. A motion for the consent agenda with discussion. Okay, the consent agenda would include the resignations and the meetings. Seconds. A uh, motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor, please say aye. Oh, I'm sorry, for a discussion, Steve. Discussion, I'm sorry, um, but I have to ask the question. Um, Lynn McDonald was an elected official. Um, yes. Nate, why are we responsible for accepting her resignation? Uh, this would be public, public recognition that Lynn, um, it, because she's a school board, she's a, school official, you would be accepting it no different than if John LaFerrier submitted his resignation as school board member, you, the board would accept John's resignation. So, so it would be exactly the same as if the um, school treasurer yes. uh, submitted a resignation? That's correct. Okay, thank you. I didn't know that. Nate, what will happen um, in the interim? Uh, for for the public to be informed of uh, how will we run an election with a school district clerk at this um, point? Uh, prior to the filing period, the board had uh, uh, elect, uh, elected, in essence, a uh, clerk pro be appointed? appointed a clerk pro, pro tem. Uh, that's Elaine Allen, uh, <laughs> who functions in the absence of the clerk. Um, she will function during this election period um, in the role of clerk. Um, when the new board is seated, the board then can make a decision, then should appoint a clerk uh, to fill out the remainder of Lynn McDonald's term, which would be one year or, or until the next election. If, in fact, she had two years left on hers, you would be filling that position till the next election. At the reorganization meeting, I will bring in the specific process that the board will have to go through to do that. Just to cover any potential question that anybody might ask, it is far too late to 
appoint candidates to the upcoming ballot. Correct. Okay. So that's why we won't be electing yeah. next Tuesday and, a new clerk. Yeah, and I don't think the board would want or the town would want to spend five, six, five, six thousand dollars on a special election for a school clerk. So law allows you to appoint one. Which would beg the question of who would run it. Right. <laughs> okay. Anything else on the consent agenda? All right. Um, Steve? Get to take a vote. Yes. Party motion. I know, you're, you're content with the discussion you wanted? Okay, all in favor of the consent agenda, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Uh, that is five nothing. Um, the sole remaining item is to open a non-public session um, to discuss various personnel issues. Is there a motion? Um, I motion that we move to non-public session as required under RSA 91A3 section 2A through C. Second. Okay, motion is by John, second is by Nancy. This is a roll call vote. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye, Steve Young. Aye, John Robinson. Um, we are in non-public. Thank you to our television audience. We now return you to your regularly scheduled hockey game. Very cool that they are doing the hockey game. Yeah. The way. And what camera work? Following the puck? I mean, like, I'm not a big hockey guy, but high school? Yeah. And whoever's filming it from the stands is like following the... They do good play-by-play, -play too. 